today I'm going to show you how to make a rose on a stick. Now this is my third video of doing this, but I have had some comments from you viewers, thank you very much, I love your comments, that one of them was the lighting wasn't that great, it was in a different kitchen at that time, and then the second thing that I get is I wish it was a closer up shot. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get really close, really tight, so you can see exactly how to make each little petal using the 104, the 124 tip. I'm going to show you two different roses. One's a little bit smaller and one's a little bit bigger. The technique is the same. The rose just turns out a little bit differently. So what you're going to need, obviously, is some frosting, and I'll link the frosting down below the recipe, and a 104 tip or a 124 tip. You can use any size tips like 105, 125, those are all different rose tips. Now you also need some sticks. Now you can buy the sticks that are just the kind that are the apple sticks that you, they make for caramel apples, or just get some Chinese food take up sticks. And these work just as well too. And then you need a pair of scissors. Let me get a tight shot and show you how to make these roses. First I wanna show you on parchment paper the angle that you need when you make a petal. So using my 104 tip, you want the, the thin tip on top and the fat tip on the bottom. And basically, you're just going to make it kind of like a rainbow, like that. That's kind of how you make each petal. You see how I'm doing that? So if you want a longer petal, you're going to go a little bit farther out. Okay, so just like a rainbow. And that's how you make the petals when we do it on the stick. Now let me show you how to do it actually on the stick. Using my rose tip stick and my 104 tip, keeping that small end up on top, I'm just going to turn my stick around like this and I'm going to turn my stick and keep my hands straight. That makes the bud. Now I'm going to make my first petal, which is that up and down movement. Then I'm going to go again over here, and the first row is just three petals. Do you see that? Now I'm going to go again on my next row. I'm going to tilt my stick just slightly so that I can see it and then just keep making those rainbows as you go across. And then you just keep going around till you get the size rows that you want. Now to place it, you're going to then get a scissors, bring it up, and I'll show you how to place it on a cake. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop right here. If this is my cake, just using the back of a jar right now, and you're just going to twist up with your scissors and then place it on your cake and bring the scissors out and that makes your rose. Now let me show you how to make a rose using a larger tip. Okay, using a 124 tip, using my fat end at the bottom, my thin up on top, I'm just going to go ahead and go around again and then I'm just going to make my little rainbows like I did before and then go across go across make sure you're turning your stick go across you're making bigger petals this time that makes a really pretty flower okay go ahead and make your plant on your bowl your bowl your cake your cupcake whatever you're gonna do bring up your scissors and then bring it out. And there you have a larger rose. All right, thank you for joining me. I hope this helps and that you've got a closer up look on how to make your roses. I do this channel because I want you to be a better decorator and a better baker. So I hope this helps. We'll see you next time.